Whether you're stepping up from a really small fishing boat or buying your first boat ever, budget is likely the name of the game for you. So this week we're going to show you something you can get for under $9,000. This week's Foditis boat is this 2003 GRU 174. On the one hand, this is a fairly basic boat, a great starter. But on the other hand, it has everything you need. There's seating up front in the bow lounge with small storage underneath. Moving back, there's a large vented in-floor locker. Dual bucket seats flank the well-designed cockpit. And the port side console has a stereo with CD player and a large lockable storage compartment. The chairs spin and slide to give you the chance to get properly set up behind those controls. And the wheel adjusts as well for a more comfortable ride. Speaking of controls, the layout is straightforward and everything you need is a quick glance away. The 174 is a compact boat, so there's not a ton of storage on board, but Gru did a good job making the most of the space. The rear bench seat conceals multiple storage bins, and the backs of the chairs have handy pockets. The sun lounge area pops up to reveal a 3 liter 140 horsepower Mercruiser stern drive engine, and at the stern there's a swim platform complete with telescoping swim ladder. The price of your boat obviously is a big factor in your decision, but the performance of it is equally as important. So we're gonna head out to the bay and see what this little Gru can do. The 174 has a stepped hull design to reduce drag, increase lift, and get it up on plane quicker. 140 horsepower Merc shot us from zero to 20 miles an hour in just six and a half seconds. It rides in corners well too. If you're up for it, you can get going nice and fast around some tight turns and whip it around the lake. We got it to a top speed of 40 miles per hour at 5,000 RPM, but it cruises comfortably at 22 miles per hour and a more fuel efficient 3,000 RPM. At any speed, I had a blast driving this, even on a cloudy and windy day. The GRU 174 isn't the biggest boat, so you get bounced around a little in conditions like our test day, but even with plenty of chop to contend with, it handles the waves nicely, so we still had fun. But the true bottom line with this boat is it's just so much fun to drive. It's like a little go-kart on the water. And if you ask a lot of people, myself included, fun is what boating is all about. <laughs>